Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials. Today, very cool video as we're here to talk about the MetaQuest 3 additional accessories that might be coming with it, which is pretty, pretty damn exciting if you ask me. Now, by the way, just before we go into the video, just want to show you, and I really want to thank Bimax for including the VR Essentials community as part of their official influencer program. We have received the Pimax Crystal today, even though we did do a live event, I will be doing a live, another live unboxing this Friday, everybody. So this is very, very cool stuff. So do make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe, so you're notified as to when we start the, you know, the live event. We'll do the unboxing, we'll look at everything in the box. I'll also provide you feedback from the previous live event as well with the graphics and all this kind of stuff. We might do a power turn on, not quite sure, so do make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe. All right, so let's go into the article now about all this various different news. So let's go, here we go, here we are. So we are on the mixed-news.com. Let me, uh, there we go, put it like so. So we're on the mixed-news.com website. MetaQuest 3 will most likely get an official charging dock accessory, which is very, very exciting. Um, so how do we know this? I mean, what is going on? Is this true? Is this false? Is this legend? I mean, what is this? MetaQuest 3 will likely get an optional charging dock for the headset and controller as indicated by an FCC approval. Okay, what does this mean exactly? So the US, let me just highlight it here. There we go. The US agency tests electronic devices for compliance with wireless technology standards. Products must receive an FCC approval before they can launch on the US market. When FCC documents show that a product has received approval, it is often an indication that a product launch is imminent. Okay, so basically the idea here is that, let me just turn the camera, there we go. So basically, What's happening here is that they launched, they put something for approval, it got approved, and now these documents are public domain is basically what they're saying. All right, so let's just go back to the actual uh, article. Both MetaQuest 3 and the new Ringless Touch Plus controllers have already received FCC approval. Now, FCC documents have surfaced suggestion that Meta will be releasing an official charging dock for Quest 3. The documents were first spotted by Brad Lynch. Now, by the way, guys, if you're not quite sure who uh, this dude is. So he's someone who basically has, he's pretty, you know, he's pretty, um, he, he, he keeps track of basically all the different things that, you know, happen in the market. He has some insiders working at different various places, but you know, we all do, a lot of us do. We just don't want to give out the secrets because, you know, trust is hard to build with a lot of these people. But uh, he's someone who's got his, uh, what's the expression? His ear on the ground and he can hear the track you know, the train track, the train coming from miles away. So basically he's able to come up with these things before, you know, a lot of other people uh, can basically. So good on Bradledge, very good on him. And uh, do go and check out his uh, YouTube channel if uh, you haven't yet. Uh, Meta itself, let's continue with the, the article. Meta itself has not yet announced a charging dock. However, pictures of the MetaQuest 3 show charging contacts, suggesting that Meta is planning such an accessory. A charging dock has been released for the MetaQuest Pro, and the charging contacts on both headsets look similar. So basically, we can start asking ourselves now, does this mean that the controllers, um, you know, and also does it mean that the previous charging dock, you'll be able to use it for the MetaQuest 3 if you have a Quest Pro, for example. And also, as we know, on Amazon Japan, the MetaQuest 3 is listed there on its own, which means that you perhaps, allegedly, we don't know, it's speculative, you might be able to actually purchase a MetaQuest 3 with no controllers as it's listed without controllers over there. And we did do another video about this. So do go and check it out on the channel. So does it mean that the Quest 3 controllers will be compatible? We don't know. It's speculative at this moment in time. Does this mean that this charging dock, the Quest Pro one, will be compatible with the Quest 3 controllers? Uh, and also, potentially, can you buy the Quest Pro controllers with the MetaQuest 3, which is what we are speculating on as well. So a lot to speculate on, basically, which is very, very exciting because, as you can read here, new VR controllers can be charged as well. So, all right. So new FCC documents also state that the dock supports wireless charging of controllers. The model number of the controllers listed in the FCC document match those of the Touch Plus controllers 
and the respective FCC approval. This suggests that the dock can charge the Quest 3 controllers. The question is how, because of course they're going to have batteries, right? According to the FCC documents, the touch, oh, sorry, excuse me, let me get uh, rid of this. There we go. Uh, FCC document, the Touch Plus controllers use batteries. So could it be that the Touch Plus controllers come with rechargeable batteries that charge wirelessly when you place them in the charging dock, but can be replaced with regular AA batteries when you don't want to use the charging dock? Now, that would actually be very, very interesting. Let me just go back. There we go. Because at the moment, there's two ways of actually charging, right? The first one is no batteries in the controllers, like the Pimax Crystal. You just put a USB-C or a, USB, a micro USB um, for some other controllers. Or, of course, you put AA batteries and then that's it. So if there's no current hardware manufacturer that provide controllers that are rechargeable, at this moment in time. They all provide AA batteries that you throw away afterwards, right? And then you have to buy your own rechargeable batteries, which I think is a big of a waste, a bit of a waste, or a huge waste. So it would be great if, doesn't that DPVR look quite cool over there? Um, that, wouldn't it be great if, um, you know, Meta could provide rechargeable batteries because they won't be, it will be greener for the planet, let's say. But yeah, you know, we won't get to throw away all those batteries that we get in the box, right? So that would be pretty cool. And then of course, they could be recharged via the actual dock which makes a lot of sense um touch pro, so quest pro quest pros touch pro controllers use charging contacts as and non-replaceable batteries meta could therefore take a middle course with touch plus controllers we should know more on september 27th uh, so of course at the moment everything is a bit you know in the air it's a bit speculative september 27th why because that is connect meta connects day that's when they will reveal the products the meta quest pro sorry the meta quest 3 the controllers the charging dock uh, whether it will come on its own whether the quest pro controllers will be uh, compatible with the quest 3 or not or the quest 2 controllers with the quest 3 or not um you know what games are coming and all the different software developer and all this kind of stuff is going to come out on september 27th and 28th and you if you want to know how to register and uh, what's going to happen do go to the link description below to the video that we posted last i think it was last week as well so guys very excited what do you guys think of this news also will the charging dock be as is additional does it mean we're gonna have to pay for it um you know and how much would it be you know all these kind of different questions what do you guys think of this news let's spark the conversation in the comments below but guys do hit the notification bell after you subscribe as i told you i told you this baby here this baby here of course the bimax Crystal unboxing coming this Friday. We'll go through it and all the various different things and stuff. So very, very exciting. So guys, until next time, hit the likes so more people, oh look, Pico Falls there. So more people get to um, subscribe to the channel and we can grow the VR Essentials community, of course. And look, there's the HP there. All right, awesome. But until next time, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in another video very soon, if not this weekend for the live unboxing of the Pimax Crystal. Bye for now. Bye 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 bye. bye.